Hey TD Superheroes, how's it going? And this video we're going to start a series of videos where we're going to be talking about user interfaces and creating windows and how to do a whole bunch of cool things inside of windows like creating tabs, uh, creating buttons, getting information from UI to run uh, functions and things like that. So um, in this video, it's specifically talking about Windows. Um, if you want to see the whole playlist, check out the I tab coming up now or in the link of the description. So when I start off, I'm going to just import maya.cmds as mc. And let's define um, a function to create window. We'll just call it win. There we go then uh, let's just create a window really quick mc dot window we need to give it a name so my test window there we go then um, so this creates it but it will be invisible when we start off so we want to be able to show it so we just have to say mc dot show window my test window okay so that function doesn't have any syntax errors let's run the function create win run that and we have a window you can see that it's called my test window based off of what I wrote here so if we were to run this again you'll see that we start getting an error if you already have the window open. So if we close it, try to run it, it works fine, but if we try to run it again, we get an error. So we want this window to refresh and not give us an error when we want to pop it up. How do we do that? We have to do that in a conditional statement. So we're going to start off if mc.window, and then we're going to take the window name, and then we're going to check to see if it exists. So we're going to say exists equals true. Uh, then colon next line, and we're going to go mc.delete UI. And then we have to tell it which window we want to delete. There we go. So now if we run this over and over, we get the window coming up. Um, within the window we need uh, layouts and things like that um, just to show you really quick that we can load up things in the window but without getting too much in detail we'll focus them on future lessons um, let's create something where we can access it um, mc dot button and we'll give it a label equals create sphere and be careful because this looks like one but it's actually an L um, so if we start creating things like that it's actually going to give us an error um, that's because you need layout in order to um, start putting things inside of your window so you start off with a column layout and then now that we have a column layout, we can throw in a button in there. So we have a button. We haven't got it, any, it doing anything. Let's have it do something. So let's define create sphere. Let's see dot poly sphere. There we go. And then we just have to tell it that we want to run that function. MC dot or sorry, C equals, and then create sphere. Let's expand this so that way you guys can see it. And we have to make that a function because that's a function there. So let's run this. You can see that there. Let's open this. If we push the button, create a sphere. And we can keep on repeating that and we create more spheres. Um, but that's the basics of creating window and right now it's just with the button and um, and creating s a set of spheres with it but you can make it run whatever functions you want 
Um, but I hope you guys found this useful. See you guys in the next video. Bye.